There are several ways to accept receiving, depending on how you made your inventory requests. If you created purchase orders for your inventory, then it is a simple process to add a purchase order into your inventory count once it arrives. First, go over to Receiving in the left menu. Then click the three dots over on the right side and select Suspended Receiving and Purchase Orders. Scroll down until you find the purchase order that you've now received. Click Unsuspend to open it up. Double check to make sure that all of the items have arrived. Once you've checked the information, go down and click Finish. The purchase order items have now been added to your inventory. If you made a mistake or need to edit it, click Edit in the top corner and try again. Otherwise, you've just completed receiving for a purchase order. If you did not create a purchase order and you need to manually add inventory to your store, there's a different method. Click Receiving. Add in the items that you're adding to inventory by either scanning the barcode, looking for them in the grid, or by entering the item name. You can edit the cost, quantity, and pricing of the items that you're receiving. When you make an edit, just click the check mark to save it. If appropriate, add in a supplier. Start typing a supplier's name and then select them from the drop-down. If you click the wrong one, simply click Detach and try again. You can edit any discounts by clicking in the right side and setting new numbers, and then select the payment method that you're using to pay for your new inventory. When you're done, if the inventory is going to be added to your account, click Finish. If you're not done or you're not sure that you want to change your inventory account, you can scroll up and click Suspend. This will save the receiving for later, just like a purchase order, so that you can go back in and edit it and accept it later. And that's how you receive items into inventory.